Now, Vice President Kashib Chatima has described Herbert Wigwe as a true Nigerian whose life was a sanctuary of inspiration and a beacon, beacon of hope for Africa. VP Shatima was among the dignitaries and diplomats who graced the day three of the Knights of Tributes. Lawakon reports. It was a night of solemn reflection of the life and times of Herbert Wigwe at the day three of the Knights of Tributes. The Vice President of Nigeria, governors, public office holders, businessmen, diplomats and family members were filled with memories of emotional moments. Vice President Kashim Shetima, who admitted that Herbert Wigwe lived a fulfilled life, described him as a true Nigerian who was a sanctuary of inspiration and a beacon of hope for Africa. Once upon a time, Herbert Oyewumbo Wigwe, alongside his court traveler, Aik Boje, Aik Imokwade, embark on a journey, a journey that changed the course of the banking industry in Nigeria. They took a leap of faith to build an empire that now stands as the pinnacle of our industry. I consider myself fortunate to have shared a life in the banking industry with them. Yet Harvard didn't pause to take a break his face was that of a relentless sprint against time. Nice. Herbert Wigwe's personal assistant, Olushola Faleye, couldn't hold his emotions as he narrated his last moment with his boss. One of his strengths, Dr. Herbert, is that he comes to you in a time of storm and he rescues you. I saw myself landed in Luton Airport and immigration came in to stand by passport, and a vehicle was waiting. I've never seen that in my life before, <laughs> only in a movie. And we came down. I was like, is that it? Guess where we were going? He had a dinner with Theresa May that day. How else do you describe a grand entry? It is only one person that can make that happen. Herbert Wigwe's impact was also felt across the world as presidents were represented to honor the dead. Representative of President Emmanuel Macron said Herbert Wigwe was a source of inspiration to many who had a dream of nursing true young Nigerians that would drive the desired transformation in the country. He said France will never forget him. Partners, teams, and friends, I share their pain and grief for the loss of this truly exceptional man. My thoughts are with his loved ones. His demise is a huge loss for all of us. Here in Nigeria, his beloved country, for which he had so many dreams, but also throughout the African continent that he loved so much and for which he had so much ambition. He was truly an inspiration to all of us. Others said Herbert Wigwe's legacy will never die as his seeds are already germinating across the globe. Herbert Wigwe, his wife and his son were among the six passengers on a helicopter that crashed in the U.S. early on Saturday night of February 2024. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Lagos.